guys how's going on my name is Louis and God bless every single one of you today is June 30th 2024 and welcome to the real GS news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and we have a big breaking news red alert it says here US deploys NATO forces around the Red Dragon, an unprecedented mobilization, and joining forces with AUKUS. All right, so we're gonna see what's going on here, guys. This is a big breaking news. We also have more information coming out, and it seems like next couple of days, huge announcement. The 4-6 will be heading to Camp David tonight to discuss the future of his re-election campaign with his family, according to NBC. The end of the 4-6 campaign could be just days away. And I just posted a video about Michelle. And it's very important that you guys check out the videos. Give me a second here, guys. This is the one right here. Everybody in Michigan receiving letters. They are sending letters out with Michelle on the cover. Now, Ted Cruz is saying August the 5th, around there, uh, it seems like uh, Joey Joe is going to step down. And by the way, Time Magazine, uh, the Panic cover is going to be released August the 5th. So just pay attention. Keep your eyes open. Uh, once again, we are seeing some great events happening. Um, here we go. Let me just pull this one up. You have the Sleeping Giant leader again is expected to discuss the future of his presidential re-election campaign with his family and other staffers on Sunday at Camp David following Thursday night show with former 45th which left several members of the left uh, in a state of panic about his uh, capacity, again, his uh, issue, with some key left congressional members, both privately and publicly, calling for him to step down. You got to go, man. You got to go. You were... They see that uh, his mind is not... Again, he's 80-something years old. They're not going to give him another four years. Hey, man, we can't we can't do this. You have to step down. Now, the 4-6, Joey, uh, wife, Jill, she's like, he ain't stepping down. <sighs> that woman, oh, I mean, that's your husband. He, I mean, he's not capable. And, again, I'm not trying to be funny here, but you guys seen uh, the 46. He's not capable. So someone else has to come to the spotlight. Harris is like, hey, it's my turn, but they don't want her. <laughs> I mean, they don't want her. We have more breaking news updates to look out. Turkey leader warns the Holy Land that they stand with Lab if biblical war is pursued. We have more breaking news updates. What in the world is going on in NY? Upstate NY was rattled by a 3.4 magnitude earthquake only months after tremors shook the city we have more breaking news updates here we go signs of bird flu in california's bay area wastewater all right guys before i start give this video a big thumbs up share this video with your friends families and loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon will get you access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So the sleeping giant, the U.S. is moving NATO Air Force is out of the Red Dragon, an unprecedented move that prepares France, Germany, Britain, and Spain for involvement 
in Asia Pacific region. Whoa. NATO is heading towards the Pacific? <sighs> wow. The massive mobilization lasting two months with many individuals, elements, and interconnection of all countries in the region shows that the sleeping giant has worked, worked out, and has ready a scenario for NATO involvement in Asia and the Pacific. Now, it is a combination of NATO and AUKUS forces against the Red Dragon. It is obvious that the Red Dragon is now officially viewed as an enemy of the West. Now, it is no coincidence that the Sleeping Giant ambassador to the Red Dragon capital, Nikolaus, for the first time explicitly stated that the Red Dragon has effectively sided with the bear in the conflict in UKR. Man. According to the Sleeping Giant Diplomat, the Red Dragon has taken the bear's side in the UKR conflict. Burns noted that it makes no sense to talk about the Red Dragon neutrality, while adding that the Red Dragon transferred to the bear technologies and materials used in the bear defense industry. We believe it is a big mistake to allow the Red Dragon companies to send thousands of such components technological components, microprocessors, and uh, nitrocellulose to the bear to strengthen the defense industrial base of the Bear Federation, said the Sleeping Giant ambassador to the Red Dragon. The Red Dragon responded to the Sleeping Giant accusation through Defense Ministry spokesman. Uh, I'm going to skip his name. So once again, guys, uh, nation against nation, is building up and we are seeing great transformation in the Pacific Ocean and uh, you guys know the South China Sea is building up just like the Baltic the Red Sea the Mediterranean Sea the Black Sea um, all those regions are getting ready here in the sleeping giant you best believe the Atlantic the Pacific the Caribbean's all those regions will also see stuff too in the future it says here, as the representative of the Red Dragon Military Department noted, the West accuses the Red Dragon of getting involved in the UKR biblical war without thinking about its own role. The sleeping giant and other Western lands, according to him, are trying to shift their own responsibility to the Red Dragon capital. The Red Dragon stands on the side of peace, on the right side of history resolutely opposes the baseless uh, accusation that ignore the fact it will continue to play a constructive role in a political res uh, resolution of the UKR crisis. The Red Dragon Defense Ministry spokesman said in response to Western accusation countries. Give me a second here, guys. So you have the U.S. brings, look at this, NATO to the Red Dragon. You see how the Sleeping Giant is the one provoking? You see how the Sleeping Giant are the ones that's looking for a biblical war? Why is the Sleeping Giant bringing NATO to the Pacific? Eventually, the Red Dragon is going to go to Venezuela and say, you know what? Let me go to Venezuela. Let me go to Mexico. You know, let me give a little taste of the Sleeping Giant own medicine. The Air Forces of Germany, France, and Spain are embarking on the unprecedented exercise that would take various forces to the Asia Pacific region on a 36,000 mile journey. It says here the main aircraft fleet. For Pacific Skies, 24 includes eight German Eurofighters, four Spanish Eurofighters, four French Rafale, uh, Rafale fighters, 12 German Tornado Strike aircraft, nine A A400 M transport, four German, three French, and two Spanish, one Spanish A330 transport, and four German H145M helicopters. 
all this is to send a message to the Red Dragon. Hmm. All this will be supported by about 1,800 military personnel from these three countries. Air refueling support will be provided by four A330 multi role tanker transports from the multi international unit division based in Germany in Cologne and three more A330 MRTT from France. It says here the Pacific Skies 24 exercise confirms NATO's private to Asia fighters and other aircraft will be deployed to the Indo-Pacific region, including Alaska, Hawaii, the Sleeping Giant and Australia for about two months from mid-June to mid-August by participating in Pacific Skies 24. We as Europeans are making a presence in part of the world that is of great importance to all of us. We will deploy to the Indo-Pacific Pacific region together with Spain and France and take part in five different exercises. Mm. <clears throat> Give me a second here, guys. Sending a strong message to the Red Dragon, Nippon Skies, German, France, French, excuse me, and Spanish fighters in Japan. Pacific Sky 24 will continue west over the Pacific in Japan and via Nippon skies. These maneuvers will see German Eurofighters train in Japanese airspace for the first time. Just the build up of WW3, Japanese Defense Minister announced at a press conference on June 25th that the uh, Japan Air Self-Defense Forces, excuse me, force, will hold a series of joint exercises with the Air Forces of Germany, France, and Spain in Japan in July. It is the first time that aircraft from the Air Forces of the three European countries will be deployed simultaneously in Japan. It is also the first time the ASDF uh, will conduct joint training with the Spanish Air Force in Japan. The, cons uh, the cons cons uh, consecutive, excuse me guys, visit to the Indo-Pacific region by the military forces of these countries demonstrate their willingness and ability to engage with the Indo-Pacific region. Mm. So you have this person said, noting that the Japanese Navy has also already held a joint training with the navies of Turkey, the Netherlands, and India in June in the waters surrounding Japan. The Japan, uh, Germany, Spain joint exercise around um, this air base, I'm going to skip that name, will involve four F-15s from Japan, eight Eurofighters, three A-400M transport aircraft, four A330 MRTT aerial refueling aircraft and one A321 transport aircraft from Germany for the Eurofighters and two A400M transport aircraft from Spain. This is uh, it's getting real serious out there in the Pacific. About 180 people from Germany and about 150 people from Spain will be will take part and conduct various tactical training exercises with the ASDF. Separately, Japan and Germany will conduct joint training in the airspace around Chitos, uh, Chitos Air Base. I truly apologize if I'm saying that name wrong. You have four F-15 fighters from ASDF, as well as three Eurofighters, uh, fighters, two 400M transport aircraft, and an A321 transport plane from the German Air Force will participate. About 80 members of the German Air Force will take part. In addition, the ASDF and the French Air and Space Force will conduct joint training 
in the airspace around the ASDF uh, Air Base uh, Prefecture in the Kanto region. It says here the ASDF will be represented by two F-2s while the French Air and Space Force will send four Rafale fighters. And we're going to skip all these equipments here, but you guys get the picture. Those region is going to get really, really hot. And it's not going to look, uh, well, it's not going to be good for the Red Dragon. What is this? Pitch black. The remaining German forces will leave Japan for Australia to take part in a historic pitch black exercise along with the French and Spanish Air Force. The large scale pitch black maneuvers are said to involve up to 20 different types of aircraft from 20 countries. There's a lot more here, but I'm going to skip it, guys. This is a very long article. Look at this. Give me a second here, guys. Look at this. Hmm. NATO. And then towards that region, towards this region, and then you have uh, you have multiple nations. Oh man! Jeez, Germany, <laughs> France, and Spain are not messing around. This is WW three build up exercise here. Oh man. I don't know. For some reason, it seems like men loves biblical war. They love it. They love it. Wow. That's a very power powerful article there, guys. There's a lot of information, a lot of info. This is like one of the longest articles War News 24-7 has put out. Sleeping Giant deploys NATO forces around the Red Dragon. <laughs> Got them birds heading towards the Pacific. And like I said, sending a message to the Red Dragon. Instead of dialogue, they really want biblical war. All right, give me a second here, guys. Give me one second. I'm going to post something up here really quick. Let's see what's going on with... Uh... Actually, um... I want to see what's going on with uh, Joey Joey. It seems like uh, the end of Joey Joey could be just days away. We're going to hear something pretty soon. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I think I'm catching a, catching a cold. I can feel my nose and my throat and everything. It just... Yeah, I feel like I'm catching something here. Hopefully it goes away. They say the secret is to chop onions and put it, you know, in, in your sock. Wear the sock, right? And then you grab the covers and you cover yourself and let that onion just, you know, just, in, just inhale it. And it goes through your system and kills everything. The problem here is the wife is going to kick me out and say, go to the sofa, babe. Go to the living room. You ain't going to be sleeping here without onion. <laughs> All right. So after his uh, disastrous event performance, the 4-6 the four six is expected to discuss the future of his November event with family at Camp David on Sunday. 
the four six will be traveling to Camp David for a pre-planned trip with his wife, Jill, as well as his young ones, I mean, uh, his uh, children, grandchildren. In the days that followed the event, give me a second here, guys. Um, in days that followed the debate, 4-6 wife has remained publicly supportive of 4-6 Kennedy. So, though she conce uh, conceded at a fundraiser that it wasn't his best performance, the 4-6 uh, frail showing at the showdown with former leader 4-5 sparked intense panic among the LEFT. A flood of uh, prominent media figures, how, uh, many of whom are generally supported of the 4-6, called on him to drop out of the race ahead of the the left convention. Now, I'm trying to use code words here, guys. I truly apologize. Follow me on this one. The platform, they really love going after me when I talk about this stuff. All right, so you have the news. Mr. I'm going to skip his name who has been a reliable defender of the leader, suggested he consider dropping out to serve his land. The 4-6 should leave the race, argued the NYT editor or editorial, excuse me, board. Several of the paper's top column, uh, columnists, including Tom, a personal friend of the 4-6, conquered. On Saturday, NY uh, New Yorker editor David wrote that staying in the race will be an exact, excuse me guys, staying in the race will be an act not only of self-delusion, but of national endangerment. Now the 4-6 campaign has remained defiant in a race, excuse me, in the face of tremendous pressure. A campaign email sent on Saturday Offer supporters advice on how to explain the debate to your panicked aunt, your M-A-G-A -A uncle, or some self-important podcaster, potentially a J-A-B at the host of Pod Save Sleeping Giant, or former 44th administration staffers who deemed the debate a uh, not good for 4-6 and have suggested he, he withdraw in the race while there's still time to nominate a replacement. If re-elected, 81 years old will be 86 by time he leaves office. That's the that's the breaking news. So he's going to Camp David with the family, everyone. And I guess he's gonna sit down and talk to the family and say, hey, I'm out. I can't do this no more. There's a possibility in the next few days we might hear something. We might hear something. And um, check out my video about the um, Michelle that uh, it seems like she might be the one to take his place. Or Gavin Newsom. All right, so once again, this is where we are right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. This is where we are right now. And I think I'm just going to end it here, guys. Not feeling good. My throat is itching really bad. And um, give me a second here. I got something here really quick. Hold on. North K condemns joint military exercises as Asian NATO. We just talked about that. We just talked about that. War News twenty four seven. This uh did just this uh this here just came out. North K criticized the recent joint military exercise by South K, Japan, and the Sleeping Giant, calling it an Asian version of NATO. The Freedom Ed drills involving naval and air forces aimed to strengthen defense defenses against regional warning. Now, North K foreign ministry condemned the alliance and vowed an aggressive response. Now, the ministry also criticized efforts to link South K 
and Japan to NATL and noted South K potential arms supply to UKR. Both the Bear and North K deny accusation of equipment transaction. I feel like what's going on with NATO out in the Pacific, that's a message to North K too. Not only the Red Dragon, but North K. Alright guys. It seems like this is the announcement. I did make a video. And it seems like this is the announcement. Kim is uh, saying that he will respawn. Once again, North K uh, Foreign Ministry said that Japan, the Sleeping Giant, and South K have de facto created a military block similar to the Asian NATO. And this is uh, not looking pretty good, guys. It's not looking pretty good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this video. I'm just going to lay down, get some uh, Vicks, rub some of that, you know, Vicks in my chest and my nose. I got this headache, and I feel like uh, coldness, like my body and all that, like shiver. Yeah, it seems like uh, I'm going to catch something cold. My daughter just came from New Jersey, too. I just picked her up from the airport. Um, wow. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the, uh, in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2. Holiday Florida 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.